So you might be in a situation where your front camera of your iPhone is no longer working. Now, this is actually a very, very common situation, and it can usually be fixed by just going through and doing a few things. Now, the very first thing you want to do is to make sure nothing is covering that front camera. So if you see right here, the front camera is right there if you kind of look at it from an angle. And most of the time, if you have like a case on it or you have something that's covering it, maybe even like a lot of dirt or something, that may end up causing some problems here too. So what I would recommend doing for the most part is just going through and basically cleaning out the front camera or removing anything that's on that front camera right there. Because the majority of the time, again, if you're having some situ you know, some errors, usually by cleaning out that front camera can usually fix the problem. Now the next thing I'd recommend doing is going through and pretty much just opening up that front camera application and just letting it sit there for a second, hopping out of it again and trying out that front camera once more. Now, in this situation, what I would recommend doing is actually going through and just kind of scrolling through past these few other options here and see if your back camera is working. If your back camera is working but your front camera is not working, that could mean that your front camera is actually failing. And we'll talk about a few ways to kind of troubleshoot that as well besides actually getting it you know, repaired. But in this case, if your back camera isn't working and your front camera isn't working, what I would recommend doing is actually going through and updating your iPhone. Sometimes it's very weird, but some software updates can actually mess this up. So go inside of your iPhone settings right here. You want to scroll down into general, which is right here. You want to go up to software update, which is right there. And all you want to do is go ahead and basically update your iPhone. So click on download and install and download and install the latest update. And a majority of the time that might end up fixing the situation as well. Again, whenever I've had this problem, that's all I've had to do. And that is probably all you have to do as well. So that kind of covers it up there. You can also try restarting your phone. So hold down the buttons to restart your device, power it down, Wait a few seconds, power back on. And again, you want to double check and see if that ends up fixing it as well. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comments section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. So long.